Hello. On today's video, I want to talk about a, a couple of things. The most important part of my video today is going to be what is your focus on? I'm going to briefly share with you what my weigh-in was this week and then go to the more serious topic of what's your focus on. On Thursday, October the 6th, I weighed 122.8. Now, I was happy with that weight because it was under 123 pounds, and I could still say I had lost more than 90 pounds since I started Weight Watchers. Then, in the middle of the week, uh, I weighed on Monday morning like I always do, and amazingly, I was down over a pound. That rarely happens to me, but it did last Monday. So because of that, I realized I didn't have to back away from uh, the amount of food that I was eating. I was able to eat uh, all of my dailies on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, plus a few of my weeklies. So when I weighed in last Thursday on October the 13th, I weighed 122.6. That means over that week, I had only lost two tenths of a pound. Now, I rarely have a perfect week where I weigh the same on one Thursday and then the next Thursday. So I'm going to take two tenths of a pound as a perfect week. It's so close. I'm, I'm definitely happy with it because I ate quite a bit on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday after I had uh, seen that I had lost more than a pound. That's what my weigh-in was for Thursday, 122.6. Now, the reason I started off with my weigh-in instead of ending it like I normally do is because I wanted to share with you what my focus is for right now. I do want to make it clear that I do not want to step on anybody's toes or to offend anybody or anything like that. That is never my purpose on these videos. My purpose on these videos is to give you encouragement, to give you information from my experience. And so that's what I'm doing today. Last year, when all the buzz was about what the new program was going to be on Weight Watchers, I found myself losing my focus. In the middle of September, I found myself putting on more than two pounds in just one weekend. And it sort of shook me to my core and I realized, okay, I'm just consumed with what's gonna change in November. And uh, no matter what, I'm losing my chance for success for today. I was in the midst of trying to lose what I call my cushion weight and I found myself getting back above my happy weight. So that was not a good focus. So I sat back and I realized that I was consumed with what was coming in the future. But I had to put my focus on what was happening in the present. I'm going to put in a link right here uh, about that video that where I realized that I needed to focus on today instead of uh, focusing on that November of last year because I really was consumed with it. <laughs> it took me a while to realize what I was doing. And when I gained those over two pounds in one weekend, I figured it out. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Um, every Thursday, when I weigh, I go on the Weight Watcher app, record my weight, and then usually we'll stop by and read a lot of the comments that are being put on the Connect part of the Weight Watchers app. And I try to get encouragement or give it when I am on that part of the app. And in the last six weeks, it there have been so many comments about uh, what's going to happen in November? Well, with my experience, and I will have been on Weight Watchers for nine years in January, so I feel like that's pretty good experience. The program on Weight Watchers has only made drastic changes 
in the fall of odd numbered years. Well, this is 2022, so I'm not expecting a change. They may tweak it a little bit, but I just don't think it's going to be a big change. And yet I was finding myself being consumed with it again. And so I began to avoid watching the videos or getting on connect because I was finding myself changing my focus. I wasn't going to do that anymore because after it happened last year where I gained over two pounds over the weekend, I realized it was time to live in the present and not the past and definitely not in the future. You can plan for the future. You can look forward to the future, but you can't live in it. You, there's more than two weeks left in the month of October. So we will be wasting those two weeks if we're constantly thinking about what's going to happen in November. So that's why I shared my weigh-in at the first of this video. My weight only deviated by two-tenths of a pound. That means my focus was on today. My focus was on what I was living through. And so that's what I'm going to ask you to change your focus on. Yes, you can talk about what's going to happen in November, but if you don't focus on what you're eating, plan what you're going to eat for the week or whatever it does to make you have success, you may not have it. And I, I just really want you to think long and hard about living in the present instead of the future. When the future gets here, we'll deal with whatever changes there might be. Even though I, I don't think it's going to be much of a change, we'll deal with it. I know I will. It may take me a while to get used to it, but I'll figure it out. And so I want you down in the comments to be honest with me and tell me what your focus is on. Is it on today and losing or maintaining what you need to do each week? Or are you like I was last year, consumed, consumed with the future? By the way, I want to add this. After I rearranged my focus to be on the in the present for the month of October, I lost more than five pounds. So I got that cushion and it was before the personal points plan even started. So I hope you will do the same. Have a successful week. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing because I'm always going to give you the truth. And that's what I feel like I'm doing today. I want you to be successful. And the only way you can do it this week is by concentrating and focusing on this week. Share this video. Comment. Subscribe. <laughs> Oh, and press the notification bell if you'd like to get all of my videos. I hope you have a wonderful, successful, and focused week. Until next time, goodbye.